So we have lost a total of five chickens now, um, and I know that it's a fox. I know it's a fox because a few days ago, my neighbor sent me a picture on his trail camera of a fox with a chicken in his mouth. And he texted me and asked me, hey, you missing any animals? Um, and I came out here and sure enough, I was missing a couple more. So uh, we're just, yeah, we're not gonna be able to free range chickens um, in our area. You know, there's just way too many predators. You know, we have bears that come in the yard, fox, I mean, anything, you know, so um, it's just not gonna work here. So what I'm gonna do is this was the fencing that was that we had our raised bed garden fenced in with i'm just going to set up a temporary run for them because they want to go outside they've been in the coop for a, a full day now and they're you can hear them squawk and they're a little pissed that they're not outside so i'm just going to set this up for now and then um, i am going to make this better because like i said we're, we're probably never going to free range them ever again so i want to set up a really nice run for them and do a good job on it that way it lasts for many many years i don't want to just slap something up but with this fencing it'll give them a pretty good run and then i don't know if i'll just get rid of this fencing altogether and then get something better but um we'll see i'm kind of planning a, a run for them and i'll do it partially roof too that way they can use it all winter but yeah you can see i'm just gonna keep going with this fencing until i run out or i don't know i'll probably end up just going to like here and then over and then back into this and then I'll cut in a little door right here for them to get in and out of the coop. I got this little temporary run set up so it's strong it's probably hard to see but it goes all the way around here and then back around What do you chickens think about that? Okay, let's see how this ladder height works. Could definitely, that's eh, probably fine. So now I'll go outside and screw a, like a two by four around this whole border. So then that way, um, at night, I'm gonna shut them up every night because I don't even want to risk, <laughs> I don't even want to risk anything being able to get in the coop at night so then if I do those two by fours around this then this will have something to you know you can't just fall out and then I'll put like a little uh just a little piece of wood here to twist so then it, it latches Can go out there hey chickens check this out isn't that cool Oh yeah, you're figuring it out. I'll give them a little little trail of mealworms out here to lure them out maybe. Here they come, that Wyandotte there, this one, just let herself out. This one's gonna come out too. There was just 10 of them out here or so, but they all went back inside. Um, I threw up some plywood here, just ripped it real quick, nothing fancy just to enclose this and then I'll bury some fencing here that way nothing can dig underneath the chicken coop and get into the run. I'm going to shut them up at nighttime anyway, always, but you know, we've had, we've had fox come in and grab chickens right in the middle of the day. So um, I do want to bury fence all the way around the perimeter of this. That way nothing can dig underneath because they do that. But yeah, pretty good little area. They'll have this mowed down in no time. I'll throw some stumps and stuff out here for them to hang out on and roost on, play on, whatever they want to do. I feel a lot better knowing that they're at least fenced in now. This fence is four feet tall, so they shouldn't be able to fly out of here. I mean, they definitely could. I don't know if they'll try or not. 
Um, I know people that have coops or runs like this and don't have issues with that, but we'll see. Anyways, I feel a lot better about them being fenced in. At least it'll be easier to monitor. You know, they're not just free ranging all over and getting eaten by fox. But now I guess, you know, a bald eagle or a hawk or an owl or something could get them, but we'll see. At least I know that they're all contained and I know where they're at and they have plenty of room. You know, this is a pretty good size run. You see this one in there in that nesting box. She might be getting ready to lay, I don't know. Well, you can see they're all coming out now. They like these scratch grains. Sierra picked up some straw in town here. So I'm, we're thinking this one's gonna lay. She's kind of cranky. She's been pretty vocal and she's been in that nesting box kind of scratching around for a while now. So I would not be surprised if we had an egg in there. <laughs> So there they all are out there. And then this is what how this ends up looking, you know, when you want to shut them up for the night. I just put a little screw on here so you can grab it and then just latch it with these. Nice and simple. You're pissing that one off, Sierra. I'm not even moving. You can't even see me. We're gonna rally the old Ford a couple hours south to my sister's house, and we're gonna pick up a couple of roosters from her. They have a bunch of chickens. We're for sure getting a couple of roosters, and then she might have some hens to get rid of too. I don't know, I know she's got some chickens to get rid of, so we're gonna go over there and see what she's got. We'll check the oil on this hot rod. This thing doesn't leak any oil at all, but I always check it since it's an old truck, you know? So we just left my sister's place. She gave us four hens and two roosters. So we'll see how they get along with the rest of the flock when we get home, but we're heading back right now. A couple hour drive north and then we'll be home. Well, we made it back home safe and sound. Here are the two roosters that we got. And then we got four more hens total. There's two in here and two in there. So I'm gonna bring these chickens that we just picked up out to the coop and introduce them to our flock. This can be kind of a sketchy thing. A lot of times your existing flock, they don't welcome new birds to the flock and they'll actually kill them. They'll peck them to death. Happens all the time. So I'm thinking that because our chickens are pretty new yet, you know, they're only, well, what is it, August? We got them in March, I think, so. Or, or early April. I'm hoping that there, there isn't gonna be any issues. And these chickens are the same age, so we'll see. I don't know, there's only one way to find out. Um, there are like certain ways that you can introduce new birds to a flock, like safely, or it's supposed to be a smarter way to do it, but we're just gonna toss them in there and let them rip and I'll keep an eye on them and see how they react to them. Yeah, they're confused, like what the hell is this? This one here is really pretty. Sierra picked this one. So this is one of our roosters, this is Bruce. That, well, that's one of the ones from the same flock, so. Yeah, but they were in the same. Oh, that's right. They were in the same pen. It's a pretty rooster. Yeah, isn't it? I love that one. So I mean, dude, Bruce, Bruce is the real deal. Look at, look at. <laughs> Daryl wasn't too happy about that. So Daryl and Bruce have been coexisting for a while now, so they know each other. So I mean, it's a little. There's a little bit of bickering and fighting amongst the amongst the two flocks, but nothing real serious, I don't think. But we'll just 
watch them for a while, and then I'll come check on them every so often. It's the next day. Let's go see if all of our chickens made it through the night and didn't end up killing each other. Oh, they're all looking good. And check this out. Our first egg from our new flock. Exciting. There's been one that's been just squawking for like three days and she's been hanging out in this nesting box like I showed you guys earlier. And pretty sure that's the one that laid the egg. So I, I kind of figured that she was getting ready to the way she was acting. So that's exciting. That's a small one. We're going to leave that one in there for uh, a few days. Because it'll, if any of the other ones are close to laying, it kind of teaches them that this is where they're supposed to lay. It's a pretty small one, but we'll take it. That's exciting. <laughs> there he goes. He just started doing that this morning. So we've had the new chickens for about four days now and they're getting along great. There hasn't been any fatalities. They're not even fighting anymore. They're, yeah, they're getting along awesome. We have had a couple of them fly out of this run, but whenever they do, they, they don't go far. They just hang out right here. So it's not too big of a deal. But like I said, when I get that more permanent one dialed in, I'll probably have this fence higher and then this will at least be partially roofed. Here's Bruce. He's, uh, yeah, he's been crowing, so. And he definitely acts like he's the man, the big man on campus, so I think he's going to be the alpha. He'll be the one in charge. And then Daryl, I'm not sure what we're going to do with uh, with Daryl. He, he's kind of mellow. He just kind of hangs out and, and chills and does his own thing. Uh, we only need one rooster, um, so we didn't know if we were going to give one away, you know, figure out which one we liked better and then either give the other one away or eat it, but... Um, if, if they can get along good and they don't cause problems, then we'll just keep him. Because, like I said, he's fine. I'll just feed him and he can live here if he wants. As long as he's not, you know, being a bother. But we'll see. You know, they're pretty young yet. So, we'll see how they are getting along in a couple months when they're a little more mature. And we have not gotten any more eggs yet. Just that one. So, I bet in a couple weeks we'll start getting eggs regularly. It'll be nice to finally start getting a little bit of a return. You know, we have the money of building the coop in the, in the time and then, you know, the feed, bedding, you know, all that stuff adds up. So it's at least, you know, nice seeing a little bit of a return because like I said, in a couple weeks, a month, a couple months for sure, we'll be getting lots of eggs. So then it'll get a little more fun and then we can start selling them and paying for some feed. But stay tuned, we have lots to do here. Um, it's kind of the push before winter, you know, it just seems like the snow just melted and then all of a sudden you're already preparing for another winter. But um, I'm gonna get this well house built pretty quick here. This lumber pile is gonna get burned with this lumber. So we have a little bit of cleanup to do after that remodel. And then we're gonna start gearing up for hunting season. So we'll be putting out trail cameras, doing some scouting um, around here. You know, we live within a national forest, so there's lots of lots of places to scout and check out. Uh, we, I want to get Sierra deer this year, so uh, that's kind of our goal. Is you know, last year she couldn't really hunt with her torn ACL; she was recovering from that. So this year she's pretty excited to get out, and um, yeah, I want to I want to get her one with her bow. It'd be awesome. So there's a lot going on here, lots to do. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you soon.